Hi everyone, welcome back to We Live A Lot. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Thermarest Airhead Pillow. This is the third review in a series of pillow reviews that I'm doing uh, to kind of determine which pillow is best for your needs and your budget. Um, all the pillows that I talk about today, I did put the link in the description, including the Thermarest Airhead. Um, so feel free to drop down, check it out. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get that notification when any of these new reviews come out. And then follow me along to help determine which pillow is best for your needs and your budget. All right, so I got the Thermarest in the mail about six months ago. I was really excited to test out this pillow. Um, I previously had the old model of the Thermarest and it was amazing, super comfortable. We used it a lot, so I was really excited to get this one in the mail and test it out. When it arrived, it came packaged pretty nicely. It comes in a stuff sack like a lot of the other pillows on the market. It's a little bit heavier coming in about 5.6 ounces than some of the other pillows that I've tried. Uh, but overall, it, I mean, it comes compacted pretty well. Um, it does, I ended up going with the regular size version that was available. It comes in a larger size, which is a little more expensive, coming in about $45 to $48, I believe. I ended up getting this one on a deal on Amazon for $42. Um, I will go ahead and put the specs over here so you can check out the different sizes available and kind of the price point to see if any of those work better for you. I did notice that the Thermos Airhead comes with a down insulated option as well. So that might be an option for some of you who are looking for more comfort um, compared to the ounces if you're packing it down nice and small. Okay, pulling the Thermos Airhead out of the packaging, the first thing that I really noticed that I really liked was the, the topper that comes on here. It's a little poofy, it's super soft. I love the fabric that they use. And best of all for me, it has that removable cover. So it is machine washable. Um, this pillow does come in two different colors. I chose to go with the yellow, but it does come in a blue as well. Um, and one thing with this removable pillow topper is it's filled with a synthetic lining, which is partially made from recyclable materials, which was huge for me. I love anything that has to do with being recycled. Um, so that was one of the selling points for me when I was reading through um, the reviews that Thermarest put out. Um, so I was excited to try this pillow. I love that Thermarest chose to use a removable cover. Uh, that's huge to me. Again, I love anything that I can just throw in the wash machine and this is machine washable. They have a nice opening on the back so it's easy to remove it from the back bladder, throw it in that wash machine, and then it's super easy to get the cover back on. Um, it has this nice opening back here. So what you're gonna do is you just kind of slide it out, pull out that removable bladder, and then drop it in that wash machine and go ahead and wash it. Um, while we have this out of the cover, you can see that Thermarest chose to go with like a double baffling system right here in the center, which is to provide that extra comfort supporting your neck and if you're a back sleeper when you're laying flat on your back. It was super easy to go ahead and get the air bladder back into the cover. It has this little opening right here, so you go ahead and just push that air valve straight in there first. And then after that, you just kind of fit in the bladder into the removable topper, and it's super easy and convenient to get it back in there. So my initial thought of the Thermarest was things were going smoothly. I was happy with the comfort, the ease of removing the cover, uh, and the fact that it was machine washable. All right, now that the bladder is back in the topper, um, this is where I started to notice that the pillow was kind of going downhill for me a little bit, was Thermarest chose to use a valve system for their air inflation. Typically, a lot of times with the valve system, they have some sort of like mechanism that makes it easy to blow your air into it so you don't have to kind of hurry and keep doing breath after breath so that the air doesn't come out. So on the Thermarest, they didn't really choose to do anything. So it's kind of difficult to get this pillow inflated. You have to hurry and get those breaths in because there's nothing stopping the air from coming back out. So as you can see, it takes a little bit longer to blow up and it's super, super annoying. So you can see you kind of have to keep blowing air into it and when it's close to inflation 
you have to continue to blow the air while twisting it to seal it off. Um, the next thing that I chose to do was once I started testing this pillow out, it is not comfortable at all. Um, the design is good. I really like the fact that it's kind of this kidney bean shaped. It has this groove in here so that you can fit it directly around your neck, which is always good. However, when I started laying on this, it's just not comfortable. It feels like I'm laying on like a pool floaty or kind of like just a, a balloon. Um, when you put your head on there, it's just noisy and it kind of feels like there's no support in that baffling system. Like my head doesn't get cradled. It just kind of sits on this poof of air and it's just super uncomfortable. Um, I did try deflating it a little bit, which seemed to help a little bit with the comfort, but still you get that side to side movement and it's just like air kind of bouncing back and forth. So I could never really get comfortable with this pillow. Um, a big thing for me, I know in my previous review of the Trackology 2.0, it came with an attach and latch system. So you could actually attach your pillow to your sleeping pad, which is amazing. If you're a side sleeper, a back sleeper, a stomach sleeper, your pillow stays in place the entire time, no matter what you're doing. Um, so for this one, the way that Thermarest decided to advertise it is that you're supposed to put your pillow inside your sleeping bag hood to kind of secure it in place. They did say that it has like an anti-slip texture on the back, but for me, it still seems kind of slippery and it didn't really stay in place. Um, I put my sleeping bag on a sleeping pad. I tried to attach this into the hood. I mean, it stays in place for a little bit, but once you get into the middle of the night and you move around, um, it just kind of came out of my sleeping bag. I don't know if it's just me being a side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper. I move around a lot. Um, but regardless, not having any way to attach this to my sleeping pad was a huge inconvenience for myself. So that was a major downfall um, for me personally. Um, I did try to lay on the pillow. It was pretty easy to just like adjust it while you're laying down, but it just didn't really help. So the comfort of this pillow kind of failed me. With that said, I haven't taken this on any deep backpacking trips because I couldn't even get it to pass my comfort test just being at home or just on a regular camping trip with the family. So for me, I would not take this on a backpacking trip. For me, a good night's sleep is very important and this Thermarest Airhead just does not do it for me. My final thoughts on the Thermarest Airhead, it just doesn't fit my needs and my budget. There's a lot of other pillows on the market today like the Trekology 2.0 coming in about $16 compared to Thermarest $42 came with an attached system, it was convenient, it packed down lightweight, it was comfortable most of all. Um, it just isn't worth it for me. They did have a lot of nice features on the Thermarest Airhead. I love the soft synthetic lining topper that it comes with, the ease of being able to remove the bladder from the cover and the fact it's machine washable and made with recyclable products was amazing. But the air valve was a total bummer, super annoying to get it inflated, and overall the con comfort and convenience of this pillow is not worth it. My main thing is I need a good night's sleep when I'm out on adventures and backpacking and hiking, and this just does not do it for me. Um, so I do feel that there are a lot of other options out there that might be a better fit for you, price point, and comfort. I have included some links in the description in case you want to check out those other reviews. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on this journey to determine which pillow is best for your needs and your budget. Thank you. Well, remember, why live a little when you can live a lot?